Hello, hello everyone, welcome back. So, uh, it's probably been a little bit. <laughs> well, it has been a little bit. Uh, I needed to make a video! Ah! Because I haven't done it in a while. Uh, I've been working a lot on Law Chaos and such. And with moving my room like twice in a row, it, it's not important. It, it, it's all that matters is like I've been busy, but I have wanted to make videos. I've been writing a lot of notes down. But I couldn't really commit to any single idea. So, eventually, I settled on this topic, because this is one I've actually thought about a good bit. Also, heads up, uh, I have a fan in the corner of my room, so if you hear that, I'm sorry. It's really hot. <laughs> I'm very hot. Uh, but yeah, so, I wanted to talk about Law Be Down, like, so badly. I've been, like, itching to talk about it. I know there's a couple of things I want to finish up. I know people say, why don't you just skip the Law Be Down instead of, like, uh, going through the other all the laws like part by part in the tier list and I like to keep it neat and tidy for people although I might eventually break that rule because I do really want to talk about law of eat down but I figure I can cheat one more time I guess and just talk ahead about well I was debating on doing Stephen actually Stephen Choir because of the recent video Shad released but I decided you know what I'm going to go back to the original idea that I want to talk about which is why PBG is probably the best empty slot character, like, period. And that's completely, like, an opinion, you know? But I think there is kind of, like, some, uh, like, factual stuff, I'll say. So, as everyone know, like, Lobby Down is doing its second empty slot right now. But they already did, they already did a first, like, a long, long time ago now. And PBG technically won that? It was technically Tord, but Jad knew that Tord would probably sweep by accident because uh, uh, Friday Night Funkin' came out at the same time. So he kind of took some steps ahead. It's like, no, I'll just give him a slot anyway, and we'll give it to the next runner-up. And the next runner-up was actually really close. So I want to pull up the, the stuff that Shad actually shared. He has the original empty slot votes in the video description. So... PBG beat Jack Septicai by two votes, and I think there there is definitely an alternate timeline where Jack o is in Law V Down over PBG, and I I still feel like PBG is deserve to get in first. Like Jack, you know, I love Jack. I used to watch the both of them a lot, and I definitely don't watch either of them as much anymore. But I do lead into PBG more because PBG has a very different vibe to Jack. Like, Jack, I can understand why people wanted Jack in at the time, because Markiplier was there. And they were kind of, they did a lot of collabs at the time, like, why not bring them both into the same law? I feel like PBG, in general, is just a better encapsulation and a perfect fit for a voted-in contestant. Because, what is PBG? Well, for one, he's a live-action character. <laughs> live-action characters aren't very common, so getting one voted in is a pretty cool. He's a YouTuber, but he's also not like a YouTuber that just plays games like Jacksepticeye does. I mean, Jack does a lot more than just play games, obviously. But PBG has a very different a way of doing things. He's a lot more silly. He does a lot more skits, and he does a lot. And he's well known for his more chaotic hacking videos as well. Which is compared to Jack, like Jack, Jack is very similar to Markiplier at the end of the day. So PBG brings a lot more to the table, I think, than a you know Jack. I mean, you could make them different, obviously, but I feel like PBG was the better choice. Then again, like we something else could have happened. I I, I would love to see you know what what Chad would have done if Jack won, but. I think, like, not only was Je was a PBG, like, perfect for getting in, I think his moveset is also just genuinely perfect. And I'm going to go in, and we're going to start looking at it. So, I'm going to also say ahead of time, I'm a big fan of PBG. I think his stuff is pretty good. I know not everyone is a fan of him. It's, like, a, it's a very taste thing. Like, some people like his stuff, some people don't. I know a lot of people don't like his stuff, but that's totally fair. Uh... Want to go? I feel like I'm a lot more qualified to talk about him, so I'll get into it. Obviously, you know, Chad said he put a lot of effort into PVG, and it really shines. Watch through a lot of his videos, 
to make sure you know he picked out the right references to use for each each special move slot. I think basically like everything is perfect. They all the of what PBG is most infamous for. So first off, you got the hacking videos. Literally the first thing in the movie is hacking videos and how he hacks himself, which is perfect. Like yeah, of course. Like everyone knows PBG for the hacking videos. You do you should put that in the neutral bay. That is like the start. That's what everyone should see at the start. I love how Shad like animated like uh oh, shoot. arrow keys no PBG glitching out and pause on the in the individual like he looks so goofy like <laughs> at some point I would like to do a podcast with Shad and ask him like you know what, what how did he do these did he just recreate some of the poses from the hacking videos did he just have fun and do make some weird janky stuff in like an editor or something I, I gotta know, because, like, this is just genuinely, like, really funny. There is so many s here. And also, I, I love that, you know, it fits multiple versions of the hacking, oh, uh, multiple skits from the hacking videos. I mean, bits, not skits. Uh, like, where he threw his head, his legs grew long. It, it, it's, it's just good. It's just really, really good. We start getting into the other stuff that PBG is pretty well known for, I'd say. And the side B reference is like, I think it's kind of like a double reference. At first, whenever I originally watched this move, so I, I wasn't really sure about this move. But I feel like when you look at the broader picture and understand why it's here, it works really well. So, he goes, rides the whip. <laughs> he, he goes, rides the whip, you know. So, I don't think I ever originally watched this video, but one of the reasons why this move works is it fills a, a bunch of hip, a uh, bunch of, it takes a bunch of boxes. So one of those things is, it's a, it's silly. <laughs> it's a silly thing, obviously. You gotta, I think PBG's set would need to be silly and weird, because he is a very eccentric uh, YouTuber, like he says. The second bit is, it's a live-action skit. So PBG is well-known for doing a lot of random just bits in his videos. Like, I'd just break away and do, like, a random, like, thing in his, like, yard or outside. It's it, it's very strange. It's very funny. So that already ticks another, like, big box. That's, like, a, a very normal thing he does in his videos. But it kind of, like, fulfills a very... I don't know if this was intentional... But, like, PBG also used to really like to do his singing bits. <laughs> Where he'll randomly, like, do his, like, raps or, like, stuff. Like, the, the, his famous Zelda rap from the hacking video was, like, really... Like, I used to watch that all the time. There's a lot of references to it, that that specific video, in his uh, throws and normals, which I love. I love that so much. So, that also kind of fulfills that bit of, like, oh, yeah, he's kind of, like, singing or rapping as one of his like strange like moves at like that's like a really creative I way to like slip this in here so another four it, it gives him like a weird movement option like no other character really has where he kind of just steals like a horizontal movement special to ride with the opponent it's really really good i love it a lot and up it's funny <laughs> it's also funny but I feel like it's more of just like an honest thing where PBG is just doing a live action skit in his yard where he just messes with shit. <laughs> so that's good. I mean, I feel like it also kind of helps that it's not a very strong recovery. I feel like making PBG a little bit weird like this, giving him like a, like a whatever recovery, it fits. He's already got the side B, so not making it super, super strong is good. And the most important move, though, if it will load, please. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, my God. So, like, this is, like, a... I think saving this for the very end is the downbeat is so, so good. Because, like, Smiley Man is, like, not a bit that's used much anymore. Like, this is, like, a treat at the end of the video 
for like peanut butter gamer fans from like way way back so obviously it's shown in the video but pbg hates my sims for some reason i don't know why i love i love my sims a lot i'm a big my sims fan uh, that's like in my opinion one of like pbg's worst takes just kidding it's it, it's his opinion obviously but like i i love my sims so i'm happy this is a move at all so including this is like a special treat at the very end because like everyone's like wait we're smiley man we're smiley man and saving it for the very end it's, ooh, it's so good i love this move it's so so good and the way it functions is very silly pvg can't get rid of him he always becomes my sims he inadvertently helps him but he still gets hurt by a projectile that hits him and doesn't completely get rid of it so pvg has a lot of ways to like mitigate damage but like it's it's just so good it's just really really good and then obviously like uh his recover his uh final funny i'll turn over this So PVG is, I don't think he's as, as closely known for Mario stuff, but he has done a lot of Mario, he did a lot of Kaizo Mario, uh, Kaizo Mario 64, I believe, and, but he's also done a lot of skits where, like, he'll kind of, like, goof around like that, he'll do something crazy, and then he'll, like, flub the end of it, and then he'll do a super hard cut, like, it, it, I, like those, <clears throat> making that the final smash was just really, really good. In it, it, even like the final smash is like it, it's not like quite what you would expect but deep down it gets like the real like intricacies of how, how a ppg video like operates and ah yes yes pvg like all of these special moves like they're perfect they're like perfect in every way um and that's why i think in the previous video i say you know like the second lol empty be down empty slot wouldn't be as exciting, and that's because PVG is just, like nothing can top this. <laughs> I feel like PVG was already like perfect in like every way. His moveset came out, it dropped, it was fantastic. Uh, he, I'll, I know like whoever wins the second empty slot, it'll be great. But PVG was just like too too good. <laughs> Uh, I also personally, I remember I personally voted for him back in the day as well. I, I think BBG is just great. And I'm so, so glad he's here. I know people were also recently talking in the LOL Aurea server about how PBG doesn't get too much uh, lore attention in the LOL Beatdowns, like, uh, story stuff itself. And personally speaking, I think that's totally okay. I mean, obviously, I would like to see more PBG. But I feel like at the end of the day, you know, PVG is just a random weirdo. <laughs> he said it in the Lull Beat Down Bound game itself. Like, no, people wanted me in, so I'm here, I guess. <laughs> like, he, he's here. He's happy to be here. But, like, he, he fits really well. But, like, he, he doesn't need to be something deep. He doesn't need to be something crazy. He is here. He vibes with some people. He's cool, and that's all. That's all I think he needs to be. I do think now, though, I w originally wanted to see him like appear in more like clips in general. Like I want to see him like fight in a some kind of lore segment or something like that. I think that'd be cool, just because like he has all of his sprites are like fantastic for his normals, his grabs. I want to see that more, like so badly. But I also just like i want to see him just ha find his click within the law beatdown mansion and what do i mean by that click i mean that like he as you, like we saw like the when he at the end of his moveset video like he uh everyone he tries like oh i like arthur i want to play arthur the board game and everyone's just like massively disappointed in him <laughs> and like i think that instantly like ruined his chances of like vibing with everyone else but you know he does fit uh like, I, I originally thought it'd be funny if we got, a, like, a random segment where all, like, the YouTuber and, like, live-action characters were just playing video games. And, like, they, like I just want, like, something like that. But I don't know. Maybe that's not great anymore. Uh, 
He likes Homestar Run. He likes Homestar Runner. So maybe we could give more skits with him and Homestar Runner being buddies. I mean, like Homestar Runner shows up a lot, but I don't feel like he's. I don't think he has a buddy within the Law Beat Town yet like, that he actively hangs out with. I think they would both hey, get along. I mean, like they're both kind of eccentric. They they both like they're both lanky. They like to run. <laughs> Actually, you know, PVG does a lot of random, like, skits where he just runs, like, the Sonic Heroes bit. I would die if he, like, ran through, like, a field with Homestar Runner screaming Sonic Heroes. Please give me that, Chad. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Uh, I just want an excuse to talk about PVG, because he's just great. Uh, Chad's done amazing work on Lot Beatdown. I know it'll be a while before we get any info on the empty slot. But I, I, I figured, you know, in the meantime, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about the previous one. And hopefully you enjoyed it. But yeah, that's it for now. You all have a wonderful day. I will try and get more uploads soon. Bye bye